G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. I'm continuing with my little frog series at the moment. The last one I did was this one. A little froggy on a leaf with some chameleon powders. And uh, this is another froggy mold that I got. I've got. I've got a few more to come, so if you like frogs, stay watching. So this guy... Um, I thought, oh my gosh, what's that? And I was trying to get it out, and it's his nostrils. Um, but they're raised, so when he's unmolded, I'll just sort of colour it with black. And then this is his mouth here. So again, with um, when it's unmolded, I will just I can colour that in or put some um, black UV resin in or something like that. So today I am going to do a little bit of UV resin um, from this kit here from Let's Resin. You get all these colours and today I'm going to use black for his eyeballs and red for his feet. So let's get started. So this is the red one. I've got my UV lamp here. This is one that I got from eBay. Oops, I don't need to take that off. Um, it's got, it's just for um, nails and it's got heaps of little lights in it like that. So I wanted to try and get a, a strong one. All right, so here we go. In here, make sure I've got the black. It's going to pop some in there. Hopefully it's not going to be too deep. Now I'm just going to do a little bit like that. And then I'll just kind of spread it. Like so to the edges and you can see see where the depression is there for the eye so it should be easy enough to do this one will need a little bit more so just get it kind of the shape that you want it this one's a little bit smaller I feel I don't think it's quite as quite as big but again you can see where the the ridge is okay there. I'm going to put a little bit more in. Now if you squeeze and you get a bubble like that, just keep squeezing, wipe it off, keep squeezing so that you're not sucking air back in and then do it again. So I'm going to keep the pressure on there so that I'm not sucking air in and oops, oh it popped itself, that's okay. Alright so I just need to push that out a little bit more hard to see exactly where it needs to go but I think that's, that's about it. I think this one needs a little bit more. Like I said this one, this eyeball is a little bit bigger. Alright, that'll do. That will do. I'm just going to give it a tiny little torch. Oh well, you don't need to do that because this is the back of the eye. You're not going to see it. So it's quite thick with the black resin and it's quite deep so I think what I need to do is I'll zap this side real quick with the UV lamp I feel as if I've gone over there that I don't need to I guess it'll find its own its own way Trying to make it a nice curve on the top there. Okay, that'll do, I think. Just trying to make it a nice curvy shape. All right, let's just um, pop this under the UV lamp. Uh, I'll give it uh, a couple of minutes and then I'm going to carefully turn the mould over so I can do the other side because um, being a black resin I'm not quite sure how easy the UV lights will be to get through. So we'll do two minutes on the side, we'll flip it, do two minutes on the other side and then I'll, I'll test it. Alright, let's have a little look and see what it's doing. Okay, that feels cured. So very carefully... Uh, Turn it around and do the other side. 
right, let's have a little look at this side. Now, obviously I can't see if it's cured or not on that side. You just gotta be careful that you don't pop them out. All right, so that's the eyes done. Now, I thought it might be really nice to do some red. I'll have to shut the door, sorry. The dogs are just playing, but I know it upsets some people. My studio is attached to the um, the family room where the dogs are, and you know I just have the door open so I can see them, they can see me. But some people really complain about it, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, you guys, it's just you know, it's I'm just I'm here at home. I'm just doing my hobby. It's not a professional video that you have to pay for. So, and I know I shouldn't let these things bother me, but you know, any negative feedback. It does bother you, doesn't it? Well, I think so. Oh, no, gosh. <laughs> it might help if I um, uh, take the foil off the top like that. All right, that'll do. Let's try again. So I'm going to put some of the red in the toes. And I'm assuming it's going to kind of run down. So I'm going to... Oh, how, how red is that? Oh, it's more of a pink, really. It says red. Okay, that's fine. We'll just do this. And I'm just going to kind of put a little bit in his little toes here. And if it runs into his feet, that's okay. Look at the bubble. Only little tiny toes. And, you know, you could if you wanted to, instead of doing this, you could just, you know, do... Um, red mica powder. I didn't actually realise it was a bit pink. But anyway, maybe I can do him like a, maybe I'll do him like a pale green, like a lime green. That might look nice with pink feet. What do you think? So I'm just going to go to about there. A little bit more. I'm just going to kind of push it. Hmm. I might push it just to about there. I think that'll be nice in his little foot there. Now don't torch, do not torch these these types of um, translucent molds. You will fuse them to your to the resin so don't do it. Just trying to get the little bubbles out. So I'm going to do one foot and uh, just you know show you what I'm doing and then I'm gonna go and do the rest because it's gonna take a while I can't get those bubbles out There's three little bubbles just sitting right there just trying to pick them out okay bit more all right I'm just gonna hold that on a bit of an angle like that and just until just give it like 30 seconds and then I can let it go because it'll be set enough so I'm gonna do this to all of the little feet uh, and then I'm gonna turn it upside down I'll do the other side um, and then uh, I'll come back to you for the next step I've just put a little bit in the little fingers here done the toes, just doing the fingers. Let's pop a little bit in there. This this one here, the um, fingers are up on more of an angle. Now I did, I did actually realize that I could get my isopropyl spray and spray that and the bubbles are gone. Like, oh my gosh. All right, let's do that one. So I haven't turned the mold over yet. I'm gonna do all these first and then I'll, I'll flip it over. I'm just going to go over here, get the first little bubble out. Now, this one, I think I'm going to have to just hold it like that. Just because of the angle of the little toes. So I'm just going to put a few little drops in like that. Give it a spray. I can't believe how well that spray works. <gasps> wow. And then I can just push those little drops into the toes. Um, I'm not, I don't mind if it, uh, you know, goes over the webbing of the toes because you're not gonna see that. It's gonna be on the back. So you won't see that. 
All right, I'm going to hold it there while that goes under just for 30 seconds and then um, I can lay it flat. All right, so those should be done now and I'm going to have to be just really careful when I flip it over that I don't pop anything out. And I'm just going to leave that on there. I'm going to give it probably, I don't know, three or four minutes uh, and then I'll come back to you. I have chosen, the last frog I did, I used the intense chameleon powders, um, but I know a lot of people can't get those. Like if you're in Australia, it might be difficult for you to get those. So these are just the regular chameleon powders by Let's Resin. Uh, there's 10 in there. I have chosen, I have chosen two. Um, because I've just got like that pale pink for the feet, I thought a nice light green would be nice. So I've chosen mint. And then around the eye, I'm going to put some plum just around that black eye. And that'll just tie in, um, you know, a little bit of the pink up on the head and then down on the feet as well. So I'm going to use those two. I'll put these away. I think I'm finished with these ones now. I will link Let's Resin's websites down for you in the description. Um, there's a US Amazon, a UK Amazon and then their regular website um, and there's also a coupon code if you want to use that you can get a bit of a discount. Um, and their UV resin, their regular UV resin um, that I use is also there. So if you want to get started into UV resin um, and you can also actually buy a lamp from them as well. So yeah, if you're getting into UV resin, great place to start. You can get everything you need. All right, I'm going to give that another couple of minutes and then I'll come back to you. Right, I think that's done. Let's pop that underneath my table. I've got a PowerPoint there and a shelf under my uh, table so I can put away all my little goodies. All right, so... That's what he's looking like at the moment. Well, she. It's going to be a girl, okay, because it's got pink feet. <laughs> now, I know I've um, sort of dripped in there a little bit, but I'm not going to worry about it because I think if I try to cut it, I'm going to loosen it, and then black resin will get underneath, and it's just not worth it. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to use this plum. This one's plum. And I'm just going to go into this eye here. Now, it doesn't matter uh, if you go over the eyeball because you're only going to see the, uh, the colour that's touching the mould first. Actually, that one's got a double... It's got like a double little rim there. And you just noticed it. I'm just going to make the whole thing pink, okay? I, uh, I'm just going to make the whole thing pink. And it looks as if I could have put a little bit more black in that eye as well. These things you don't notice until you start dusting and you think, oh, look, I can see a little ridge there now. Now, I am making a bit of a mess with my powder. It's kind of flicking up onto the sides there where it's going to have to be green. So I will get my little baby wipe in a minute. When, when I'm done, when I'm done making a mess, I'll get my baby wipe and I'll just clean up those edges. This is just a little makeup brush. I think this one actually, oh no, I can't remember where I got it from, <laughs> little makeup brush. Actually, that one's got a little rim there as well. Again, you can't see it until you start dusting. So you could have actually done two colours for the eye, an inner and an outer colour. But I'm just, I'm just going to go with the pink. You don't know these things until you start. And you can see where the little ridge is once you've coloured it in. Actually, look at that. I can see that that eye should have gone further up as well, up into there. I mean, you can add more black. But um, you'd have to sort of wipe that area out. Maybe I should. Maybe I should do it. <gasps> and put a little bit more black in there. All right. I'm just going to clean up my edges. 
with a baby wipe. And, uh, and then, it doesn't matter if there's a little bit of overflow, I just, I don't want to have too much pink where it's going to be green. Just wondering if I should try and fill that. I think I should. I think I should do it. So what I would have to do, um, where is it, where is it, where is it? Got one of these little micro brushes, it's got like, I don't know, fluff on the, on the edge there. Um, if you put some isopropyl on that, and then you should be able to very carefully wipe away. I don't know whether this is going to work because now I'm probably going to have some pink touching the eye there. I'm going to have to carefully get it off. At least you guys know if you're doing this mold <laughs> after I've done it, you'll know that um, yeah, the eye actually goes up higher. So what I'll have to do, I'm just going to put a bit more spray on that. What I'll have to do is put the black in and then sort of tip the tip the mold up so that the um, the black runs in to the edge there. The way I had it, like it's filling here and it wasn't filling there, so I'd have to actually tip the mold to get it to go up that end. So yeah, did not know. Couldn't see it until this was dusted. All right, I'm gonna get my uh, black resin out again. I'm gonna put a little bit more in there. I'm going to prop the mold up. I'm just gonna prop it up on some sticks like that. Actually, I probably need to do it over here where the eye is. No, I'm gonna. Have, I'll just have to hold it. I'll just have to hold it. <laughs> uh, if, if you had like a sloping board, you could slope it down. All right, I'm just gonna do one at a time. I'll just hold this. And put a few more drops of black on. Just kind of move it around. I'm trying to coat this side here. Okay, under there, real quick. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work out, you guys. Uh, but look, you know, I always say if you're going to do something, do it to the best of your ability. And if you can see there, that the eye needed to go further up, then just take the extra few minutes and, and do it. Do it to the best of your ability. Don't just go, ah, oh, it'll be all right. Keep trying, you guys. You can do it. Make it perfect. You can do it, okay? <laughs> all right, well, that one should have cured enough. Let's move on to this next one. I mean, it's not cured enough to be cure cure, but it's cured enough for me just to move on to the next one. Yeah, probably would have been a better option just to do it all at once. Let that run back down. I was just trying to get that curve there nicely. Okay, zap him under there while I'm holding it on an angle. Uh, and that should be good. Should be good to go. So I'll put that away so I'm gonna I'll give this another few minutes and then I'll come back to you all right let's keep going now that I've got his eyes sorted so I thought because he's kind of separated into a head and a body I'm gonna do two different sort of shades of green I actually noticed as well that it's got little 
eyelashes here. Um, I'm just going to, I'll draw them on later on when I do the, the nose and the mouth and there's eyelashes there as well. So there is this one, it's called Olive. It's, a, it's basically a white colour. So I'm going to do olive and mint. I'm going to do mint for the head and I'm going to do olive for the, the body and just see what it, what it looks like. I have no idea. I've never used, I haven't actually used these before. So again, it doesn't matter if you go over the little feet and, and toes because they are already touching the silicone, that, that resin, so it doesn't matter if you just go over the top of them. Curious to see what this colour is going to look like, especially with the black background. I am going to do the black background. I'm going to do um, the Let's Rose and Black Epoxy, just because it's so easy. <laughs> it's just so easy just to pour it out. Uh, mix it and it's, it's already black. Oops, I'm getting dust over there. Put my hand there. Stop that spray. Just go over the fingers. Making sure I'm getting up into the sides there as well. In there, go up the side as well. It's a little bit tricky to see because you know it's it's white, so I can't really see it as well on a white mold, but I think I'm I think I'm getting there. I've got it. Okay, so that's that one done. And then this mint. And again, it can just go over everything. So it is a chameleon powder, so it's going to throw different colours in different lights. Chameleon powders do seem to work better with a dark background, like you know, a black or a, a navy blue, really dark green. I'm just going to go over those little eyelashes because I'll cover them, I'll draw them on later. Um, you could potentially see what it looks like with a white background. I've got some of that uh, polyurethane, you know, the really quick <laughs> set resin that's ready to unmold in 15 minutes. Um, I wouldn't mind trying one of these molds with that see how that goes just because it's a you know it's nice and quick you don't have to wait for eight hours to unmold oh my gosh there's an eyelid not an eyelid an eyebrow there's an eyebrow you can't see these things you guys until you you're dusting them okay so there's going to be a few things for me to draw on afterwards nostrils mouth eyebrows <laughs> eyelashes it should be fun though should be a fun little project. So this would be really nice in a kid's room. You know, you could attach it to the door maybe. Uh, so that uh, the kid knows, <laughs> you know, that's my room. I've got a frog on my door. Um, or you could just hang it on the wall. You could stand it up on a bookshelf somewhere. I think they'd do well at markets as well because people love frogs anything sort of that you can use to decorate your home now i'm going to take this over to my bin my trash can in a minute when i'm done here i'm just going to blow out the excess of the powders I'm trying to make sure i'm getting up the sides as well and in all the little nooks and crannies okay i think that's done uh, hopefully that's done all right well, that was fun. <laughs> it was a bit of a challenge. Always a bit of a challenge with a new mould. Okay, I am going to give this a bit of blow. I'm going to mix up my resin. Um, gosh, I think it's going to take more than the other frog on a leaf because it's deeper there. I'm going to mix up about 300, about 300 grams I think I'm going to mix up. So I've got uh, 330. Now it looks way too much. Um, I did... What did I do? I've got my chart here. Uh, 175 grams of A and 160 grams of B. If I've got any left over, I'll, I'll do some puffy hearts. So we'll see how that goes. If I've got any left over. Now, the, while I was standing here stirring, I was looking at it, I'm going, I can just see where I've made another little mistake. 
the feet down here, the hands, are going to be covered with black. These feet um, are filled right up to the top, so I can't put black over those. So again, if you're doing this, I would advise just to colour your toes and then you can still put some black over. But I think it'll still look nice. We're just going to have pink transparent <laughs> feet. All right, here we go. I'm just going to pour onto my stick and try to just pour slowly, let the resin find its own little areas where it wants to go. It's a relatively thin resin, so hopefully it'll flow nicely for us. Better stop there. Oh my gosh, look at all the resin I've got left over. Okay, I probably needed half of that. Never mind. I get to make some puffy hearts. So the black is just going to come a little way into these little feet here. And then we're going to have little pink Tootsie Toes. So that, that's it. That's all we're going to do. Now, again, do not torch. You can spray with your alcohol if you want to get rid of some bubbles. Um, but yeah, we'll just leave that. All right, so with my leftover black, um, I like to add glitter and then I'm going to make puffy hearts and then I use my puffy hearts um, as giveaways just as little thank yous if I've got them to um, people that buy you know multiple molds just a, a little way of saying thank you all right now I've got these two here they're just this one's kind of a coppery with some orange and this one's more of a red gold and I think those two will look nice together with the black so we'll just pour some of that in there a bit of the red one oh, it's just yeah you know those sort of hexagonal shapes not too much not too much glitter you can sort of hold it up on your stick like that and see what, what it's going to look like because the glitter will sink and you don't want to put too too much in there I think that'll be all right so we'll put one on this side one on this side and uh, we'll see how many puffy hearts we can make hey with the little with the glitter so I like to give it a good stir make sure that that glitter is suspended and not all sunk and then we'll just pour some in, not all the way. So we'll come back and fill it up again, another stir. Might need to go and get another mould. Can't believe, normally I'm quite accurate with my, you know, amounts of how much I'm going to need, but yeah, way off with this one. It just looked quite deep in the centre of the face there. So, what have I got? 330, maybe just 200, I guess, might be enough, 200 grams. I'm going to have to go and get another puffy heart mould. So, yeah, just filling them up. I do like to dome them, just fill them right up a little bit because um, otherwise you end up with a sharp edge. And also when the resin cures, it kind of shrinks away from the side. So you get that sharp edge and... and um, get like a bit of a, a depression there so oops you're a bit you're a bit too full though so I'm gonna have to go and get another mold <laughs> lots of lots of um, red glitter puffy hearts coming your way guys <laughs> but no really I really appreciate you guys um, supporting me with the, buying my my molds my little small home business as opposed to some of those big big companies so yeah, really do appreciate your support. Right, um, I've got a bit left. I'm gonna go and find another mold, uh, do some more, and then uh, I'll come back to you when these are ready to unmold. All right, guys, it is time. And look, I had enough to do all of those. So I've got heaps, I've got heaps. Shall we have a little look at them first? Let's see what they're gonna be like. Ooh, that is pretty. Look at that. I can't see a lot of the red. Can I see the red? Uh, it's more of an orangey red, which matches in nicely with that sort of coppery colour with the champagne colour. So I think they look really pretty. 
It's my, one of my favourite combinations, <laughs> colour combinations for doing the puffy hearts. Uh, I think they'll look really nice with a gold chain, a tan leather chain, black leather chain, faux leather if you don't want leather, um, you know, a cord of some kind. But um, yeah, they're pretty much all the same. Oops, this one's a little bit soft still on the very edge there. So yeah, all the same. Look at that. Heaps of them. And this is this is obviously my nine puffy. I thought if I'm going to get another one out, I might as well get a nine out. Um, and then that's the four puffy. So you can buy either. You can buy both. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's have a look and see how our little froggy is doing. Now, what I ended up doing, when the resin was quite quite kind of sticky, I just um, heated it a little bit with my heat gun, not the torch, just the heat gun, and kind of melted it and just pulled the um, pulled that black in over the top of the little toes. I thought, oh, I better just do it, otherwise it's, no, it's going to look a bit weird, so that's what I did. And hopefully the heat gun hasn't fused. No, it's all good, because I didn't use an open flame, I just used my heat gun. So hopefully it's it's good. It's a little bit soft. Little toes are a bit soft because um, yeah, they're the, they're the thinnest bit, the shallowest bit. The areas that are deeper are going to cure much faster. All right, there we go. And there's my mold. Now just remember, when I flip it over, we've got some areas that we're going to have to um, colour in. So there's my black. Um, I may even do red for the mouth, maybe. <laughs> Big red lips. I better move all these out of the way, actually, so that we can know what to focus on, hey? Okay. Are we ready? I hope it's pretty. <laughs> Here it goes. Oh, <laughs> look at that. That's so good. Oh, my gosh, the pink. The red has totally vanished behind um, behind the black. <laughs> Oh, never mind. Oh, look, there's teeth. I didn't know it had teeth. I was looking at the mold and going, oh, what is, what is that? What's that thing in there? And yeah, it didn't occur to me that it's little toothy pegs. Okay, so I've got a little bit of work to do. It's a shame that my um, feet have gone. I guess they're, they're a green still. This one, the, the light, because it's a light pink, I guess, it was a transparent resin. Probably better to use a, um, a mica powder and dust it in hindsight, in hindsight. But because I dusted over the, the pink with, the, uh, with this colour, this is the olive. It's pretty, isn't it? That was that one that went on white. And then this is the mint and it's throwing, I don't know if you can see it, it's throwing like a purple hue. And the eyes are throwing pink and purple. The eyes are looking pretty cute. All right, yeah, never mind. Well, we'll deal with the feet. It's just how it is. Now, it's a bit soft still on the back. So I'm going to put down a bit of plastic, like so. And obviously, I'm going to have to color those teeth in white. I have actually got a white marker. It came in this box. I put stickers all over them, but they're paint markers. Here we go, overseas paint markers. So that's what they are. There's all these different colors in there. And um, actually, it's not the same one. Yeah, I've got a couple of boxes of them. I've got a couple of boxes of them. That's one of them. That's one of them. All right, but this one, yeah, it's still white. It came in a box with other colors. <laughs> I got a couple of boxes because um, I wanted like different size tips. That's quite a big tip. Uh, alrighty, let's have a little look here. Oops. It's got resin on it over there. Let's give that a push to get some white to come down. Now, let's see if I can get in there with the with the white. Obviously, I'm gonna I'm gonna be going over where I need to go, but I'll clean that up afterwards. It's a bit bit tricky with the Bigger, um, bigger nib, but that's okay. We'll just use a little tip here to clean off. 
probably should have done the um, mouth first actually before I started colouring in the teeth. I'm going to have to put a black line in between them. Okay, that didn't work very well at all. Let's have a look at this white one. That one's, yeah, it's a very thick nib, that one. I didn't know frogs had teeth, you guys. Oh, it's about the same. Hmm, maybe a little bit thinner. Okay, I'm going to have to let that dry. Um... I'll come back to it. <laughs> I'll have to come back to it. Right, let's do. Um, oh gosh, this is tricky. Tricky, tricky. I'm just going to go over the little eyelashes here. They they're raised, so I can easily just go over the top of those, like so. And it's a little eyebrow. We can go over that one, like so. And then this one, easy to follow because they're raised. Although if I was just, if I wasn't doing it in front of the camera, I'd pick it up so that I could actually see what I was doing properly. It's a bit hard to see when you're just looking down on it like that. All right. And then this one's little eyelashes like so okay that's that done and hmm I'm not sure what I'm gonna have to do about the the mouth if I can heat that and dry it quickly that paint about the feet isn't it? I wish she had pink feet. <laughs> oh never mind, never mind. I'm gonna just gonna I'm gonna clean in there. I'm gonna have to wait for that white to dry. It might actually be easier just to um just to paint it. The little paintbrush. I'm just gonna go in here with my marker and just sort of outline that those little lips there. my marker on the top the top lip there just on the edge of the top lip and the edge of the bottom lip as well and then I'll have to wait for that paint to dry that white paint I'll get in there with my little my thinner marker So, and then once uh, once that's dry, I can just go in with a little marker like that. I think I'm going to have to go over. I have to do the under this lip actually in in black as well. Color that in. Because it just looks a bit weird when it's showing green there under that top lip now. But um, I mean, you could just leave it. You don't have to. You don't have to paint it with black. You could just leave it. Right. Let's see if I can tidy this up. I made a bit of a mess of the teeth, didn't I? My gosh. I'll put a line there. Put a line there. So that's the end of the tooth there. And a bit of black just through the center. All right, I'm gonna have to, once, <laughs> once the white's dry, I will touch it up. Um, I'm just wondering if I can actually, if I could do this. Push that down like that until the white comes out.
there it is and then take some and just kind of paint that on where I want it and that looks as if it works it's just too it's too too big to go in there can I try again no I'm getting it on the lips <laughs> All right, so I'll have a little play with this, see if I can get some more of that white to come down. Otherwise, um, you could just use a little bit of white paint. But uh, I'm sure I can get this to work, just with the toothpick. Like so. All right, I won't waste your time any longer. I'll, I'll finish it off, make it look as pretty as I can. Oh, the nose, the little nostrils, I haven't done them. Let's go in there with my little fine marker just color that oops <laughs> color those in all right there it is i have decided that i'm going to try and uh, just paint his little toes little feet in pink because i'm not happy with the black so Let's just see if I can do this. Just a little old paintbrush. Just going to just go over this. Try not to get my head in the way. I can't really see properly because I can't get my head right over the top. Otherwise, you're just going to see the back of my head. And nobody wants to see that. So I'm going to pop a little bit of pink there like so. And the other one. And then I'm going to show you what else I'm going to do with it. Because this doesn't look real good. So I'm going to show you what else I thought I might do. And look, if it doesn't work, um, I can just wipe it off. It's, it's no big deal. It just, it's just paint. It's just um, water-based acrylic paint. I can easily just wipe it off. So I just put a sort of thickish layer on. And then look, holographic glitter, holographic glitter uh, by Let's Resin. And there's a there's a pink one in there. It's a sort of like a um, what's this one? I think there's a pink and a purple actually. Yep, let's go with the pink. Let's do the pink. So what I'm going to do? I know I'm going to do this. Um, little spoon. Just going to cover it. Just cover it like that. Try not to put too much on, but enough that it's going to stick. And then once it's once the paint's dry, I'll just come along and, and brush it off. Um, and then the leftovers I'll put back in here. What do you think? <laughs> you think that'll work? All right, let's do the feet. Same thing. I'm just going to do the tops of them. Get in there and do that webbing as well. Now, I guess you could use glue, like Mod Podge, something like that. Um, but I just thought I better have a pink base, just in case you know you can see through the holographic glitter onto the black so I thought oh, I'll better just put a little bit of pink down first and that'll give us a nice base a little base to work with so it doesn't matter if it's a little bit streaky because it's going to be covered anyway I just want a you know a pretty thick coating there of the paint so that um, the glitter will stick and if you want to, you know, you could have used the purple as well. I guess the purple would have matched his eyes a bit better. But I, I, I didn't want to be too same-same. I wanted to have it a little bit different. 
So pink and purple, because initially I wanted to have the pink feet. So then once this is dry, we can just, actually I don't even have to wait for it to dry, I can just tap it off now and some of it will stick with any luck. And then um, I'll just pick up my little plastic bag there, put those away. Um, actually I better keep the pink out because I'll try and get it back in. I'll I'll see if I can scoop it back in. All right, now uh, let me just clean off that little drop of paint there. See, it's good actually working on a plastic bag. <laughs> I can just wipe the paint away. All right, are we ready? Pick him up, her up. Give it a bit of a tap, tap, <laughs> tap, tap. I don't know that that's going to help at all, but that now we have a nice sparkly frog um, I'm just gonna go and blow the excess off which is you know sticking down here actually I won't I'll just I'll just I can just wipe it oh, there we go no that came off give it a blow there we go <laughs> it, it worked you got oh look it matches my nail polish it worked it worked it worked uh, so I guess if you wanted to later on you could go through with um, maybe some clear nail polish and go over those teeth and over the um, the feet if you wanted to that is so cool you guys I think I saved it I think I saved it all right now I'm gonna just I should be able to um, just sort of pour that back into my little my little container so I'll do that all right now let's go for a quick little walk actually no I won't I'll just leave her there now I can call her a her because she's she's pretty look you guys she's pretty wow if you could get um like goggle eyes google eyes that are oval like that that I think that would look quite sweet it's picking up the different colors here so their heads purple and there it's green and the eyes are purple and now they're blue the body mm, doesn't seem to change a lot. Maybe it's just the angle I'm looking at it. Oh, there we go. It goes dark green and then like a, a mint green. There we go. <laughs> All right. Now I can go and have my dinner. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed my little froggy. Oh, it was a little bit difficult getting here, but we got here in the end. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully I'll see you all again real soon for the next one. Take care. Bye for now. Ribbit.